A Detroit police officer just faced a judge for the first time on misconduct charges. It's a story we first brought you last night at 11. Prosecutors say the officer pulled over women and demanded their phone numbers to avoid traffic tickets. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was in court today and she joins us now live. Kim. Yes, if this police officer wanted phone numbers, well, he got them, but now he's getting more numbers. We're talking two. That's the number of charges he's facing and five. That's how many years he could face in prison if convicted. What's your full name? This is Detroit Police Officer Chancellor Dimitri Searcy. Today he waived a formal hearing as he was arraigned on two counts of misconduct in office. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy's office says in July last year, he pulled over a 21 year old from Sterling Heights. He told her to give him her phone number to avoid getting a ticket. She then got numerous unwanted calls and text messages. In August last year, he again allegedly pulled over a 29 year old woman from Ray, Michigan. He told her he'd impound her car and jail her unless she gave him her number. She then received unwanted calls and text messages. During the arraignment, his attorney said he has served the city as a police officer for 11 years. He currently resides in the city of Detroit with his family. He's lived in the area his entire life. Um, this is a nonviolent offense. He has no history of violence. But he does have a history of being charged. In January 2017, he was found not guilty of stealing money from people he pulled over. If the current charges are true, it would seem he lives a double life. Searcy is not only a police officer, but an author. His book is the 365 day soul winning quest on a website advertising the book. He writes, God is first in my life, then my wife, children and ministry in that order. The judge released him on a personal bond, meaning he will only have to pay if he does not appear. She told him if he violates an order not to contact his alleged victims, that will change. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. So you might be wondering, what is his employment status with the Detroit Police Department? I reached out to the chief's office. I was told he is suspended right now with pay pending the union process. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you.